School of Teaching and Learning, uh, the College of Education and Human Ecology at the Ohio State University. My research interests include um, African American literacy and language traditions. Um, I am now moving into more uh, uh, gender specific uh, approaches to African American literacies. So I've been working in an after school program with uh, young black girls and we explore black popular culture, especially di digital, digitalized uh, representations of black women and girls. And uh, the approach is a social, li social literacies approach, uh, getting girls interested in talking about uh, how they are represented to themselves and how they think that affects their identity. So getting them to think critically about those issues, to read and write and think and produce images themselves. I was very happy to be asked to participate in DMAC because of, uh, I need to move back into uh, the digital composition. And I've been away from it for a lot of years. When I was a professor at the University of Minnesota, we had to um, be immersed in technology. So uh, we, every summer we took like, um, I don't want to say refresher courses, but we learned how to do HTML and web pages. And, um, mm -hmm. Also learned different software to teach writing with. Mm -hmm. But I've been away from there for about 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the last time that, you know, um, it was like a part of what we did as a department to uh, be uh, technologically up to speed. So since then, I have not been technologically up to speed. I've just been doing really basic stuff, word processing, a little Excel. Uh, I just got on Facebook last year. I just got on Twitter a couple months ago. <laughs> Uh, I did have a MySpace page because I'm an artist, right. uh, so my daughter made my MySpace page and, uh, and, and when, when MySpace was big, I was on that a lot. Uh, I am on Facebook a lot now, but um, I'm really um, wanting to get up to speed with what students are doing, you know, especially since in the after school program, a lot of what we do is um, look at YouTube videos, um, talk about sexting and texting and just the whole world that is open to young adolescent girls through the internet. Right. Um, it's about really about um, keeping them safe, but also making um, sure that they understand that they can have agency about what is out there on the internet. Um, even as far as like making your own um, films, documentaries, music. Um, multimodal texts. So that's really why I wanted to be in DMAC so I could learn how to teach. I really want the girls to be able to make their own um, like WordPress sites. Um, their own, you know, like if, if, for example, if we if they did a skit on something, I would want them to be able to video it, to edit the video, to find photos, to, to do everything, um, to incorporate music, use iMovie and all that kind of stuff. Everybody was really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, well, first off, the DMAC instructors were very helpful and nobody made you feel like, oh my God, you don't know that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> so that was really good. Um, they kind of really walked you through everything mm -hmm. and uh, didn't assume, because I, I, I think some of the people who've taken DMAC have returned, but they Definitely. didn't make it, you know, like, you know, some people were advanced and some people were beginners. It was like, they did everything from square one and I was glad because I needed square one. Right, right. Um, and even the people from other uh, universities who were here, other scholars who were here were also, like, everybody was kind of chipping in helping each other. Hi. My name is Elaine Richardson, also known as Dr. E, and I am a visiting scholar at DMAC. 